Alright. Bravery and I are not on intimate terms. My natural curiosity is tempered with caution. Thus I've lived long. Mm -hmm. But now, ignoring my instinct to flee or fib, I speak the truth without regard to consequence. Your courage deserves no less. Yep. You've suffered great pain and you caused some. You've endured deep grief and feelings of guilt, but you will be tested by a more wrenching anguish, Alice. There is worse oh, man. to come. The door is opening. You and Slowly. this red queen cannot both survive. You are two parts of the same. <laughs> ah! No, not the Cheshire Cat! What the hell? Ah! Oh, first rabbit, then the griffin, and now the Cheshire Cat. But I like that guy! Da The Queen is going to pay! Justice! You! Who am I? Huh? Off with her head. Oh, brother. Here we go. And so here is the Queen of Hearts. So she starts off with the... Her main attack is just using her laser attack and other... Her other attacks are actually using this sort of... Spawning to... Up these spikes on the floor and also she'll use another attack. I think that can freeze you and also by... She also has another attack that can actually use telekinesis on you and to do to suck her uh, to suck you into her like now and do some damage to you. You can't really avoid it. Um, she can do some damage to you, but it's not really that threatening. I don't think the damage damage wise. So yeah, and if you. Uh, you can also do that other attack to actually fling you into a wall to do some damage to you if you're behind the wall. Um, you can avoid that attack, but it's a little tricky to get for it. But luckily we have a save point, so we don't need to worry about dying that much. We just have to get through the fight, that's all. Avoid her attacks, get our whichever one side staff. Ready. I could use the Blunderbuss over here, but I don't really have full, full willpower right now. I, and I also used up some willpower in this instance to actually do anything with the blunderbuss. And besides, she moves all over the place, so it's really hard to actually hit her correctly with the blunderbuss to do some damage. I mean, I could actually try to avoid her attacks and fill up the willpower, but it's but it's still much quicker to use the jab or side step against her. So yeah, just try to. Make a direct hit on her if you can with the rocket to do some damage. Right now, and just try to survive, I guess. Really, this fight isn't all that bad if you can avoid all most of her attacks and pretty much just try to attack her as much as you can. Also with the Jabberwock's eye step because it's probably your most effective weapon so far in this fight at this point and well, really at this point of the game. You can't avoid that attack, but it's, still, it's a little tricky to predict and also try to avoid the attack, but it's possible. Avoid that little attack. And hit her. Ooh, yeah! I think we're done. Or not. She's still not done yet. She's, there's still more to her. She's. I think she's now stunned. Then just, you know, almost finished. Anyway, let's just try to attack her. She's mostly, like, she's not moving as much now, so it pretty much shows that she's pretty weakened right now. So just keep attacking her and just try to avoid her attacks. At least try to attack her with a purple blade or something to do some damage before she can get you. With her little attack, which actually didn't hurt that much. Or maybe it didn't hurt at all. I don't know, maybe, maybe because... Maybe because I stunned her or attacked her, I'm not sure exactly. I'm not exactly sure. Just try to avoid her attacks behind the pillars and just do 
do the fighting. Still has that effect from the jabber on sidestep, but yeah. So let's keep on attacking. And that's it! That's the fight against the Queen of Hearts. Or is it? will not be tolerated. This realm is for grown-ups. Raw, well-ordered, ruthless, careening on the jagged edge of reality. Self-pitying dreamers are not wanted here. They cannot survive here. You fear the truth. You live in shadows. Your pathetic attempts to reclaim your sanity have failed. Retreat to the sterile safety of your self-delusions, or risk inevitable annihilation. If you destroy me, you destroy yourself. Leave now, and some hollow part of you may survive. Stay, and I will break you down. You will lose yourself forever! Think again, buddy. We're still not done yet. That was... I'm, I am just getting started. So here's the main fight against the Queen of Hearts. Her true evil form. And... Yeah, you're pretty much gonna be fully healed in, at this part. And one real quick thing before I go. Um, first let's just use our Blunderbuss because... It's gonna be very useful for you, I guess, in this fight. And also, if you go around here, if I can find the green spot, you saw earlier is that there's a there's another spot where you can find the Jabberwock, uh, ah, the Blunderbuck, sorry. And also, here's another entrance where you can't die by falling. I guess as you've seen right there, surprisingly. So, oh, uh, where am I anyway? Oh yeah, she also has this other attack in which she can do that. Luckily, I actually have a save point. The game was generous enough to give me a save, automatic save point over here without actually letting me know right there. So that's pretty generous of it. So if you go around here, here's your second uh, spot where you can get the blunderbuss. So yeah, what I, what I wanted to do is actually fire this my, my current blunderbuss and get the blunderbuss to fill up my willpower. But I actually failed and fell and accidentally fell into the pit. Just mostly, most of the time, just try to avoid her attacks and go all, all, all over the place and try to get the health, like over there. So yeah, this part over here is actually very, very twisted indeed. Very dark. Her her appearance is quite creepy indeed. Yeah, I really like this boss. It's just, you know, it gives you a decent challenge. And it's just really, yeah. It's just quite a decent challenge. First, I have to fill up my blunderbuss to get massive damage to it. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Your end has come! Come on, turn around. Come on now. Pretty much hit her weak spot and come blowing. Keep doing that a few more times and you'll eventually get her. Nothing. 
Okay, you got something, but still, you can't kill me now. Now I'm onto your little plants. Come on, let's dance. Let's have some fun. I want a decent challenge from you. Well, I'm, I guess right now I'm having a decent challenge, but it's not good enough. Come on now. Is that all you got? I expect a better from you. Well then, let's just finish the song. Then with another attack. Ah! Well dodged here, man. Well dodge. Now I'm actually getting a decent challenge. You're quite a competitor at Queen of Hearts. With your gross testic self. But still, you're quite a competitor. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> nice try again. But it wasn't good enough. Come on now. Give me your best shot. I'm way over here. Come on. Just give me your best shot. 
Oh! I think you can are giving it your best now, because I'm almost dead. Not anymore. I still need to focus a bit more against you, because you're quite a worthy competitor. Oh. Alright. Another blow. Jeez, I almost missed a jump. That could have been a lot worse. Huh. Nice try over there, but it wasn't good enough. Oh. How about that? Huh? How about that, you son of a bitch? Or she? Or whoever you are, or just. I know who you are. You're the Queen of Hearts. How can I forget? Jeez. You're the bane of my existence, or part of my existence, and also the bane at the same time. So what if I'm gonna kill you? If I'm gonna die anyway, at least I'm gonna die with some dignity. So you know what? I'm gonna be pleased when I kill you. So yeah. Can you beat that? You beat it? Huh. I guess you had enough then. And that's the fight against the Queen of Hearts. That's the end of American McGee's Alice. Kablooey. Man, guts all over the place. It's meat! That's all for American McGee's Alice, guys. Honestly, I enjoyed this Let's Play quite a bit. Um, what's that over there? They, they, that did dream. <laughs> That's really weird. And we also have another a picture of uh, the Dormouse with some writing over here. <laughs> Very weird. So, yeah, I hope, hopefully, you enjoyed this Let's Play. Hopefully, you watched most of my parts, or pretty much all of it, or at least one of my parts because really I had quite a lot of fun on making this. I think this is one of my more better one Let's Plays that I did. Well, pretty much the same for every Let's Play that I did. Well, from like improvement from the few previous Let's Plays that I did, they got better and better and now this is probably currently the best one that I made in terms of actually um, making it and also enjoying it. So yeah, I had quite a lot of fun on making it and just, yeah. I have a lot of fun, as you've seen. Well, really, it pretty much shows that I die quite a bit, and I have some rage. Really, it's just, it's just something that I wanted to react. It's just something that I wanted to do. It's just something that needs to get out and just get out of my system and just, you know, continue on throughout the game. And really, at the end, I had a lot of fun with right there. Just, you know, what I, from my commentary, what what I did, and what, what I, you know, from the conversation for. Or if you, you know, call it the conversation with the Queen of Hearts, just you know, annoy her and just you know, just to distract her from actually successfully destroying me. So really, I had a lot of fun with this let's play. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on other stuff. So I'll see you guys later.
Alice Little, released from Lund Rutledge. She simply remarks this late, it's time to go. Our Alice has been unchanged and the limitations of medical knowledge have been duly exposed. After a decade of treatment in Rutledge Asylum, the overmatched staff having addressed her so-called ranting and psychic condition with a full array of therapies, she's still a shell rather than a person. Yes, she has emerged from her internment catatonia, but no one knows why. In her bed, supine, she stares endlessly at the ceiling, no idea what she's thinking about, or if she thinks at all, poor creature. She appears stable, though it's certain she hallucinates, but her vision seems to frustrate more than frighten her, as further cure seems doubtful, further confinement has being deemed by staff to be a waste of everyone's time. Such are the compassionate values of our medical science. Last we heard Alice had taken a job of sorts at House Houndsditch Home of Refuge and for Wayward Youth while seeking the medical counsel of a Dr. Bumpy. We wish Alice well. We shan't abandon her story.